welcome to Completely Driven. Um, this is the NC Turbo um, video series. Um, this is my 2009 NC 3.5. Um, I've done a couple of jobs that you see on the videos. Um, I've done the, the, map, um, the map sensor and I've been playing around with the coolant here. But generally this is the start of the build. Um, my goal is basically to try and do a turbo kit that's um, well done um, to OEM type standards, so the fitment will look nice. Um, I didn't have sort of three, sort of five and a half thousand pounds to buy a kit from one of the, the main brands. I thought for the price of the car, it doesn't work anymore. Um, I also thought that was a lot of money because most of the Mark I, Mark II boys, their turbo in their cars for sort of two and a half, three thousand pounds. So I said, why, well, I was thinking, why can't you do it for a Mark III? So, that's the goal. There didn't seem to be that much information out there about it. Um, so I thought, right, okay, I'll do a step-by-step -step guide with videos. Um, they can get quite techy with each little bit um, going along, but you know, it's to show everyone that you know you can do it yourself and not just sort of glide over subjects, but actually sort of delve in and show how you do each part. Um, not being paid for this, um, doing it all of my free time, I just thought if I'm doing it, I may as well show other people how to do it. Um, that being said, there have been um, a few companies that have supported me along the way and they're shown at the beginning of each video, so just to be transparent on that. haven't used any companies that um, I didn't want to deal with anyway, um, so you know, I recommend them. I'm using their products, so you go and have a look, but it, it's up to you. Um, so yeah, so this is the start. So really, um, I've got to get down into the nitty gritty. Um, I'm using a Saab um, TDO4 19T, um, the CRHA, the center of the turbo has been upgraded with um, upgraded bearings, it's had a billet um, turbine wheel put on it, so it's lighter, it's got more blades, it should spool quicker. So power wise, I'm not one of these guys aiming for like 400 brake horsepower, this is my only car, I need it to be um, fairly reliable, I just want a modest um, BHP improvement. I looked at the 2.5 litre swap route. Yes, the torque is great. Yes, if you live in America, fantastic. They're cheapest chips. But importing it over here was a pain. Um, you also, if you do it properly and you register um, the engine swap, then your tax bracket goes up. Not a lot, but it goes up and it's already quite a bit bad on one, one of these cars anyway. So all those kind of costs going forward were putting me off. And then I thought really it wasn't enough power anyway, so you're gonna to have to turbo that. So what's the point really? Um, so yeah, Saab turbo, making my own manifold, making my own downpipe. I'll show you all how to do that. Um, we'll be running um, full electronics on this so your um, the standard ecu if tuned by ecu tech and then using their race rom i think it's software you can get an electronic boost control um, setup so um, it uses the purge valve wiring so you have to uh, jump into that i'll be showing all of that so it'll have electronic um, boost control uh, what else we got going on Obviously, you're going to have to do all the in intake pipings. We're going to have to most probably move the battery and things like that around. So all those things are going to be shown in the video. Um, I'm trying to do it for a cost of two and a half thousand pound. So far, it's doable. I'm pretty much on budget unless I, I you know, make a mistake or whatever. But even if I make a mistake, I'll, I'll show you the correct way to do it and won't include my mistake in the budget because you won't make that mistake. So um, two and a half thousand pound. Um, I've added some extras just because I wanted to. So there are a few extras like I'm adding um, a, a dashboard gauge pod um, and obviously boost gauge, oil pressure gauge because the one on this isn't a proper oil pressure gauge and I want that. So I'm going to be doing the old track day. Not many, but just the old one. Um, so there are extra options on that that do put the price up, but I've been transparent about that. There's a link to the spreadsheet on um, in the description of the YouTube uh, video. Um, so have a look at that. Um, Forge Motorsport have also offered um, currently a 10% discount. So there's a 10% discount code, again, in the description. So have a look at that. If you wanna get some of their products, use the code. So that'd be fantastic. Um, so other than that, it's the intro, this is what I'm trying to do. I'm going to take you through step by step. Um, 
I've got a background um, in kit cars. Um, I've built my own uh, Lotus 7 type car. Um, I've rebuilt uh, LS1 V8 engines from the block up. So I've, I've, I've got sort of it. I've got car knowledge my whole life. I have never done a turbo. So I've done a lot of research, but obviously mistakes can be made, but I'll try and show everything as it should be throughout the video series. And then we'll look at the results at the end. So thank you for coming along. Hope you enjoy the, the series. Um, and if you, uh, if you enjoy it, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, I'll take you along for the ride.